everyone, this is Piet from the Freedom in God channel. In this video, I will be addressing a question people have about God. Misunderstanding his nature and who he is. The question is as follows. So if everything had a beginning and ultimately came from God, then where did God come from? Or if everything that exists had a cause, and if God exists, then he himself must also have a cause. I've heard this question a couple of times and as it might seem like a valid question on the surface, it's actually based on a huge assumption. When you ask where did God come from or who created God, you are assuming a limited or created God. Christians do not believe in a created God. If God was created, then he is not God. Our existence consists out of matter, energy, time and space known as a continuum. We as humans are limited to the third dimension and limited by the laws of this universe, like the conservation laws, laws of gravitation, laws of thermodynamics, etc. Now, for God to create the universe with all its laws and properties, then he must exist above and beyond it, and be unaffected by it. God cannot exist within the universe and then create it. It makes no sense, as the universe was already existing. God has to exist before and beyond it. God has to exist without matter, making him immaterial. And he has to exist without space, making him omnipresent, and also without time, making him eternal. Now we are getting somewhere. So God is eternal, all-powerful, all-intelligent, and everywhere at the same time. Which is actually the very traits of God in the Bible. I know it's hard to wrap your head around that, but you have to remember God is beyond our dimensionality. We are unable to comprehend his nature with our third dimensional brains. The fact that I can't makes him worth worshipping. I will try to use this illustration to give you an idea. This is a computer game created from software code, where the characters in this game was created with only 2D parameters. They can only move within that space left or right and up or down. After a certain distance they will hit a wall where they are unable to pass. That is the limitation of their created world. They are unable to pass that limit because, well, because nothing is there. The person that wrote that code and created their world does not exist within it. He is above and beyond it, not affected by their laws or limitations. Those two game characters would not be able to comprehend his nature or the third dimension he lives in. If the person that created their world could pass through it, they will only see a 2D representation of him, not being able to comprehend him in his entirety. It is the same when it comes to the infinite characteristics of God. We just cannot comprehend it. So, where did God come from and who created God? The answer is, God didn't come from anywhere and He has always existed. Now, just because we don't understand it, doesn't make it false. But the good news is, one day we will understand. One day, we will see God in His entirety and shall comprehend His nature completely, if you are saved through Jesus Christ. In 1 John 3, 2, it states, Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when He shall appear, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. I really hope this video helped you to get an idea of the nature of God, but more importantly, to make you realize that God is much greater than what we could imagine. There are some people when they hear God, they like to think of a single limited entity, like Zeus for example, when God in his entirety is infinitely greater. Thank you for watching guys and I will leave you with 2 Corinthians 12 verses 2 to 4. Have a blessed day. And remember, the truth will set you free and there is only true freedom in God.